Hi everyone, my name is Mr Switch and today we're going to learn how to perform the baby scratch and the forward scratch with the help of the DJM S5 mixer and the brand new scratch cutter feature. The baby and the forward are two of the most fundamental scratch moves. They're a great way to experience scratching and turntablism. Let's start with the baby scratch. To perform the baby scratch, simply move the record back and forth to create rhythm. The mixer and the crossfader aren't involved. Place your hand on the control vinyl with your fingers resting on the surface somewhere around the nine o'clock position. You should have a nice firm grip on the vinyl, but your hand can be fairly relaxed. Moving the record should feel comfortable for you. So let's move forward from the nine o'clock to the 11 o'clock position. And then we move back to nine o'clock. And that is the baby scratch. You can move the vinyl faster or slower, vary the distance and timing to create different rhythms and combinations. And now let's look at the forward scratch. To create the forward scratch, we start with a baby scratch, but we only want to hear the sound of the record playing forwards. So we have to mute the backwards sound. So let's try the forward scratch without scratch cutter activated. We start with our hand resting on the record at the nine o'clock position and with the crossfader on or open. The turntable should be playing for this scratch. Hit the start button. Now we want to play our sound. Let the record go as if you are mixing it in to a DJ mix. Catch the record around the 11 or 12 o'clock position. Close the crossfader by moving it to the off position. Now the sound is muted. Bring the record back to the start to the nine o'clock position. And finally, open the crossfader and turn the sound on. And now this time with the beat. Now let's try the forward scratch using the scratch cutter. Access the forward pattern in scratch cutter by pressing and holding FX cut button one. Lock the effects lever on for the deck you're using to scratch. Now move the control vinyl forwards and backwards. The mixer mutes the backwards sound so only the forwards is heard. With Scratch Cutter on, we can focus on the movement of the vinyl. For the forward scratch, we want to make sure the sample plays from the start. We can use a key point on the sample and set it so that the sample is around the nine o'clock position on the vinyl. And with Scratch Cutter on, we can focus on releasing the record correctly so that the sample plays at its original speed. And finally, we want to wind the record back to the start of the sample. Now let's try that with a beat. Next, let's look at the March scratch, which is a baby scratch followed by a forwards. First, we'll try it without the scratch cutter. Start with a baby scratch, hand on the vinyl around nine o'clock. Keep hold of the record with your hand, push forwards and pull back. And now a forward scratch. Let go of the record and play the sound. Catch the vinyl and close the crossfader to mute the sound. Pull the vinyl back and open the crossfader. From here, you can repeat the march scratch.
And now let's try the March scratch using the scratch cutter. In scratch cutter mode, select FX cut button 2, which is the March scratch, and lock the FX lever on. Now move the control vinyl forwards and backwards twice. We hear the baby scratch, then we hear the forward scratch. Scratch cutter will let us focus on getting the movement of the vinyl correct. Let's use the cue point to put the start of the sample around the 9 o'clock position again. For the baby scratch, we want to focus on keeping hold of the vinyl, bringing it back to the correct starting point. And for the forwards, we want to let the vinyl go so the sample plays at its original speed. Catch the sound and bring it back accurately to the start. To find out more, check out our other Scratch Cutter tutorials.